Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you a uh, simple fast food delivery uh, system in ASP.NET Core. So this is the uh, simple demonstrations I will give you and uh, after that I will uh, show you the uh, project details how to build that uh, fast food delivery system in ASP.NET Core. This is uh, that's based on the entire architecture and uh, you can say that this is the simple project. Uh, in which I can create a simple uh, layer based architecture and uh, show some categories, subcategories and the item details as well and uh, some identities specification, role specifications and, uh, and the payment card uh, specifications. So uh, just I am going to show you the demonstrations of it at here. Here you can say that uh, the uh, header line you can say that is the logo and the card details uh, without login and you can say that anonymous user can visit that their websites. If you uh, go for the detail section just uh, go for your uh, credentials and you can say that this is the registration process. And uh, uh, if you are admin of the user you can just insert that item details like name, description, price, category, subcategory, mm, uh, if it is a spiness or not and the count is also there. And if you are a user, uh, then if you just go uh, that section uh, in the cart. So, uh, so here we have that is the spicy shopping carts project. And uh, you can say that the total item in USD and the welcome user is lo uh, logout features like that. And that is the pickup detail. You can show that name, phone, date, time, additional instructions if you have. And order summary that is the product details, uh, product uh, amount is there and total amount is just there and uh, just place the order. If you are an admin user then, then you have to enter uh, the categories like uh, add some categories, subcategories, menu item list like the uh, name, price, category and subcategories and the past order uh, list if you have you can uh, you can check uh, by the uh, you can check uh, order details as well and uh, also you do not and uh, you do not edit your order details but admin can change your uh, order details as, as well so create a new account if you are a new user so just name email phone number street address city state postal code password and confirm password by using these these uh, lines of code you have to enter into the system uh, you or you can say that you are the authenticated user uh, for the fast um, online fast food delivery system. So let's get started to uh, design your fast food delivery system. So guys create a new project that is the model view controller. So uh, model view controller and select you can say that uh, uh, fast food. So just you can use fast food dot web project. So there is the name is the web 6.0 I will use and uh, So here we have the fastfood.wap project and in the solution the fastfood.wap okay so the uh, solution name is the same name of your uh, project so there is a no issue so add a new project name and the name is the class library project and fast okay uh, fastfood.models so the name is the fastfood.models so here we have the fast food dot models uh, in which you can add the models and the next one is the repositories. Okay, so migration in the data context file is there. So add a new project in the class library project fast food dot repository. So here we have a repository project. And the next one is your service project. So add a new project and that class library fast food dot uh, services. Okay, so here we have the uh, class name is there. So okay, so everything is clear. So fastfood.service, fastfood.pair, fastfood.repository, fastfood.models is there. So first of all, just I am going to add uh, 
data context uh, some uh, some models uh, like related items category and subcategory so the first uh, model is in the project that is the category project so here we have category class and make it first of all public and in the category you can say that the first is the id property of the category and the next one is the string title of the uh, category and you know that the title is required property so just add required and this is the notation okay and uh, make some changes in the asp.net core 6.0 models as well as the in the four projects so first of all edit project files and here we have the nullable is enabled so just you remove this from all these projects because i not uh, just uh, want to generate any warnings but if you if you want to take it then there is a no problem okay so but i but i in this all these projects i uh, i would like to remove no labels okay so everything is clear now close all tabs in the models section just go for the category and here we have the title and title is also required and you know that the id is the key property so just key id and title is the enough for the category and if you want to take uh, any required parameter like the created at and dates as well if you want to take it uh, but in the next section i will add new class that is subcategory and in the subcategory here we have the public section and there is the integer id property and there is the key oops so key is the value so then the next one is string title and you know that the title is required and intelligence work it here and the next one is uh, integer category id and you know that the category is the table name so prop category as usual you know that the category id is the foreign key in the table that is is in the subcategory so just close all these things and uh, just next to add the next class that is items class so the next one is the item class so here we have to item and you know that the uh, which property you have to add in the item that is the public prop integer id and the next one is uh, prop string name or you can say that item title and prop string description and the next one is prop double price and the next one is prop integer category id prop integer sub category id prop category category and here you can say that prop sub category and here we have sub sub category okay so everything is fine in the item class so here we have a item okay also i use uh, application user in the um, in the class so add a new class and here you can say that application user that is the customer admin as well and application user class is actually inherited with the uh, identity user so identity user and uh, identity user is installed package microsoft asp.net core.identity.entity framework core 
so add a new models manage new cut package browse identity and here we have a identity that is microsoft.aspnet core.identity so here we have the identity is microsoft.aspnet core.identity dot entity framework core and the latest package is 6. Point, but I want to take 6.0.11 and if your framework is working on 6.0 then you will go for the 6.0 the latest stable version okay so here we have the type of the namespace that is identity user so just resolve the problem first of all and you know that identity user does not take any name property so just you can take name street address postal code city as well so uh, prop string that is the city and the next one is prop string address and uh, the next one is the postal code you have to take it so string and the next one is the postal code so uh, all these are there name city address postal code is there the next table you uh, you should take uh, that is the cart table so just add a new cart uh, details as at here so uh, the cart table is here and make it first of all public and public uh, class cart so in which you can take first of all id and the next one is you can uh, if you uh, if you can see a cart have uh, so just uh, just I want to open any card uh, uh, images okay so if you can see that the card details uh, in the Google images so uh, if you should uh, go for this and if you should go for this that is the product uh, these are the product so these are you can say this these are the items so these are the item uh, item price quantity is uh, you can take in the card because the quantity is not uh, undertaking in the uh, a product with the product so uh, if you have if you want to take it uh, like total so total is generated for the price multiplied by quantity so there is no need to add in the card details because total is a variable name you can you should take it in the uh, view model also so uh, because uh, card uh, is not getting any value in the uh, total so if you should go for this and you if you should go for this you can take it okay okay so okay you should go for this so here we have a apple juice grab juice so if you have the like a price multiply by with the quantity and these are all details so you should take uh, these property in the shopping cart so integer id and you can take item id as well because item id is multiple in the cart so you should take a uh, item table and item items okay and you know that item id is there so the next one is the uh, user id is also there for the particular card so just integer it's not an integer actually it's a string for the application user you can take it so here we have a id item id item and uh, these uh, these are the application user id you can you should take it here application user id in the form of the string and go for public uh, application user application user as well so here you can you should take id item id application user id and the item id is there so the next one is the count so just integer count or you should take quantity as at here so here we have a id item id item application user id application user and you know that the id is the key value right here so if you should take any annotations and quantity is must to add required attribute and you can say that uh, minimum and maximum value Min minimum is one you should take it here so uh, minimum length is oops should one okay so minimum length is one so thank you thank you guys for watching this video and the next one is a order order header and order detail so in the next video i will uh, i will explain about the order header and the order details